What a crowd! As befits the changing of dawn servants. It's starting. Servant! Look! He's here! The head of reason is resting again. Thought he'd grace us for this occasion at least. People of Tuliolal, you honor us with your presence. For on this auspicious day, we witness the dusking of one era and the dawning of the next. The succession of dawn servants. <laughs> but I've talked for long enough. Allow me to present a claimant whose determination, wisdom, and compassion guided them to triumph and the city of gold. My daughter, Wook Lamott. Huzzah! Huzzah! Long live the Dawn Servant! Long live Tuli Yolal! Growing up in this city, I used to think I knew all there was to know about Tuli Yolal. But my journey showed me how much I had yet to learn about the cultures, histories, and aspirations of this nation. Through the time-honored Ichana, the Hanuhanu taught me how they nourish and cultivate both the land and their bonds with visitors. And with their alpacas and tradecraft, the Pelu Pelu showed me the depths of their patience and fortitude to know when to push through and when not to push your luck. From the Moblins and their artisans, I gained insight into the power of creativity that it is when we are filled with passion and bolstered by the support of others that we produce our best works. I was moved by the history and hopes of the Yokui, who believe that death isn't the end, that we live on so long as we remembered. I felt joy and harmony in Yaktel when I tasted Shebruk Bibil, the dish that marked the beginning of peace between the Shebral and Mamuja after centuries of warfare. And I felt sorrow in Mamuk when I met with those who placed their faith in the promise of blessed siblings and for this were burdened with great suffering. Through the understanding we forged, I am hopeful that they will find what they seek through friendship and community for we are all Turali. Understanding with Mamuk? What sorcery did she use on them?
All of which is to say that as I've come to know our nation, I've seen the ways in which we thrive and the ways in which we still struggle. Some in Cozamauca must resort to banditry to survive. A faction of Yokhui still cling to dreams of conquest. Not everyone lives in peace and plenty. And there's still so much of Tulijolo I don't know. Places I haven't seen and people I haven't met. That's why I hope to keep learning about and from you, that we might build a nation where everyone knows happiness. Because if there's one thing my journey has taught me, it's that your happiness is my happiness. I say mine, but the Dawn Servant doesn't need to be a single person, does it? Oh dear, what is she doing? Yeah! My father led Tuli Hyolao to prosperity by the resolve and reason of his two heads. But my one head can only get us so far. To further change our nation for the better, I'll need someone else. Someone with the knowledge and insight that I lack. So what do you say? Be done serving with me, Kona. Ramachi, are you certain? Absolutely. You take reason, and I take resolve. Together, we make a full Dawn Servant. <laughs> You'll have no objections from me, of course. But mine is not the approval you need. During my time abroad, I experienced the benefits of foreign technologies, some of which I introduced to our nation. Dirigibles now soar the sky in the south while locomotives traverse the land in the north. I was convinced that by imitating foreign powers, we could assert our strength and thereby deter invasion. Yet despite my intentions, I failed to understand what I was too eager to cast aside and the very people I wish to protect. My own journey has taught me that culture isn't a hindrance to progress, but a shared value that binds us, connecting lives and generations. With your blessing, I vow to help Tuli Yolal prosper in a way that honors the hopes and heritage of all her peoples. My esteemed predecessor, 
would accept nothing less. For ultimately, I harbor the same wish as my sister, to give you cause to smile. That is my heartfelt desire. Glad this didn't go to waste. This is the Lay of Legacy. Be part of the Tuli Hyola saga where you and I become the next Dawn servant. Good heavens! Don't tell me this is what kept you so busy ahead of the ceremony. Just so you know, I didn't decide this on a whim. After reflecting on all we've been through, I realized it was the only answer. With this, both my brother and I have worthy successors. He would have been proud. Hmm. Of course you knew. It's been three years since my brother left us. It cannot be. The Head of Reason is no longer with us. Oh, tragic tidings. I didn't want to believe it. I'm sorry I never told you. We wanted the people to rest easy until our successor could be chosen. Planning the right was my brother's final duty. He was determined for it to serve the nation's best interests and labored nigh without cease. And then he died, forcing me to do the actual work. A sneaky bastard. But he did well. I have to give him that. The outcome speaks for itself. Though not quite to the original script, your new Dawn servant rises. May they shine resplendent, and their rule bring light ever greater to Tuliolo!
Changes in the air, and it's all because of our little firebrand. <laughs> Every Ilmer father's daughter, that one. I'll be watching where you steer this nation, lass. With what time I've got left.
seen everyone you wanted to see? I have. Sorry for keeping you all. Now, there's just one last matter. What Kona spoke to you about. I'm sure he made it abundantly clear, but I'm completely serious. I want you to stay in Tulijola with me. I'm not forcing you, of course, but should you wish it, you'll always have a place here. Ah, that's right. This is for you. A permit granting passage to Chatural, which, as I recall, you've yet to see. An adventurer like you could hardly resist, no? <sighs> I can't believe our journey is over already. You accepted me as a comrade and stood with me to the end. You have my eternal gratitude. Thank you. Well, I had better get going. I need to start learning all my official dawn servant duties. I'll be sure to share what my old man says about the Golden City too, once he tells me. Till then, feel free to pass the time as you like. For now, I will remain in Tural. There is someone I'd like to see before returning to Charlian. What about the rest of you? Alizé and I also intend to remain a while longer. As educational as this experience has been thus far, we feel there are even more lessons to be had for Garlemalt. By hearing about the peace your father facilitated, and then seeing you reforge relations with Mamouk, we were reminded of a profound truth. That is, acceptance begins with understanding. And, like you demonstrated throughout the rite, there are unexpected yet effective ways for two sides to understand each other. The question is how to encourage it, and by seeing more of this nation born of unity, we hope to find some hints. Personally, I can hardly wait to learn more about the City of Gold, so if I may, I'd like to stay in Tulu Yolal as well. By all means, your rooms are at your disposal for as long as you need them. And what of you? Thinking of touring Shaktural, perhaps? Of course, you're hardly the type to leave half a continent unexplored. Then perhaps we could travel together? The person I intend to meet is my mentor, so I'll be visiting my hometown in Shaktural. If you have no particular destination in mind, I'd be happy to guide you en route.
Then it's farewell for now. Take care, all of you. When you're ready, come and meet me at the Shak Tural Skygate. We're friends to the end, you hear me? Friends to the end!
Shalwyddan. On the far side of that great bridge unfolded the wilds of Shaloni, where the sun guides in the Shetonatam. A harsh guide, to be sure, with its blazing rays scorching the land and hardening its inhabitants. But sweeping change had come to the arid expanse when, beneath its red crust, vast deposits of ceruleum were discovered. Embracing this opportunity, Vau Kona supporters hurtle on, driven by dreams of a future illuminated by blue flame. It is here that our journey continues, our path taking us along wending roads of steel, each length of track a declaration of hope and ambition. My home, Iasolani, lies past Shaloni. It will be a long journey, but the railroad should make it easier. <laughs> As for the way to the train station, let's ride these fellows, shall we?